This is Clem with Clem's Organic Gardens in Brevard, North Carolina. Today is December 5th, 2017, uh, and I want to show my cooler setup. I have um, I have two storage coolers, one of which is still under construction. Uh, the other one is completed, and I've been using it this season. Uh, and so the reason I did this, um, I am I'm growing all storage vegetables, and I uh, need to be able to store quite a bit of stuff at a time, and I also needed to be able to roll it into the cooler using a pallet jack and these 20 bushel bins. So this system has worked out pretty well for me. Um, these are these are refrigerated trailers I bought used. They are 28 foot long, uh, which is not the full length. Like the big ones are 53 feet, I believe. And basically. Uh, and I set them up with a cool bot system. So basically when you get a trailer like this, it has a refrigeration unit on it that runs off diesel fuel. I'll show the outside of it. And the ones I bought, that, that unit does not work. And I didn't want it to work because I wanted to set up the cool bot instead. So if you take that thing off, you're left with a big hole in the back of the trailer here and pretty much install your AC units and fill in the rest of the area with with foam board just kind of as though you were building a uh, building a cool bot building a building a room for coolbot which uh, coolbot has really good instructions for that on their on their website these are each uh, 25,000 BTU AC units which is like the biggest ones you can get like window size, um, and there's so there's two of them, which is what uh, Coolbot recommended to me. I I'm not sure that I need that much really. Uh, when I turned the other one on, it seemed like it would run off just one of those, just fine. Um, but it's it's kind of hard to say. Uh, one thing I will say, if you look at the condition of the backside of that one and the condition of the other one, I did buy. Um, like refurbished ones, I think they're about $450 each. And that's the condition they came in. I, mean, it was, I was rather dissatisfied with that. But, uh, and I called the people up and tried to send it back, but they said that it would work just fine. I'm not totally convinced by that. But, uh, so yeah, it might be a good idea to get brand new ones is the theme. Um, spray foam in between and then the wiring. So I, I set my um, electrical panel up pretty close to the uh, where the coolers were going to go uh, and I ran the cables to there. Um, I was able to do all that myself without having any prior, uh, prior experience with that. Um, each, each of these units requires its own circuit. So basically there's one, let's see, a, a 12, you run a 12-2 cable and a 12-3 cable in um, because you need, the 12-3 cable, you need that neutral wire to run the, the Coolbot unit, which runs off uh, 120, 120 volt. And uh, if you wanted to plug anything else in here, like lights, or if I wanted to put a heater in here at some point. Um, on this one, I did leave a hole. I have like a plug plug for that hole um, in case I wanted to stick a uh, like a box fan in there and like circulate air through here just to leave options open. Uh, so that's kind of like the setup of the Kubot. So the, the trailer itself, the biggest challenge with this project was moving these things into place. So obviously when I bought them they had wheels and they had this running gear on the bottom. And they were too they were too tall to to match up to my the pad of the barn there. Uh, so I had to dig that big pit for them. Actually, I'm going to show the other side. And so since I'm on flat ground, it would have been a lot easier if there was some elevation change and the barn was built into the side of a hill, maybe. Um, but all I had all I had to work with was. Um, 
was digging a hole and so drainage is an issue obviously um, so I have a drainage structure which is uh, the same idea as what the, the barn has for the drainage for the barn. There's basically, there's, you can kind of see it. There's a barrel under there, and then there's a pipe we dug down underneath here. There's like a gravel pit where where water can trickle out of, and the idea is that mud will kind of collect at the bottom of that barrel, and we can pump it out with a sump pump, um, which which it has seemed to work. Uh, I mean, this this pit does fill up with water, but it drains out, uh, you know, after a rain. Um, so if you you can kind of see the the thing itself is resting on the footer of that concrete pad. So I did set the concrete up with this cooler system in mind, and that was important. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, it was. Had to hire a truck to move these things into place, which was kind of a nightmare. And then, and then kind of jack them up, take the wheels off, and take the, the running gear off each one, and and kind of set them down on these posts that I had sunk in, so they're uh, just about level. I, they're supposed to be slightly slanted that way so that water runs out. I don't know that that really matters though. I don't put a lot of wet stuff in them anyway. But uh, it's worked out pretty well so far. Um, so in theory each of these so you can let me show you the inside of this. So you can see I can roll right into there. Uh, I can stack the bins too high in this cooler. And you can kind of see the wiring and the cool bus running in the back there. They say, it's like 30, one says 39, one says 37. Uh, that's generally what, they, what they've been running at, which is good enough for me. Uh, I should, in theory, be able to stack the bins too high, or sorry, three high in here. Um, I don't know how practical that is because, I mean, even two bins stacked that are full of, say, potatoes are pretty hard to pull, push around with a, with a pallet jack. Um, but each one should be able to hold, I think, you can six deep. So, th so this one can hold 12, 24 bins I think that's right and then in theory this one would be able to hold 36 bins if I could stack them three high uh, and each bin holds 500 to 800 pounds of produce depending on what it is uh, so that's that's so that's a lot um, I mean that's a lot for me at least uh, and uh, yeah I'm, I'm happy with it it's taken a lot of work it's, it's been like probably the most stressful part of my season is getting these cars set up and I'm glad it's over, but it seems to be working fine. Uh, it's hard to say like, how efficient it is in energy uses. I haven't really measured, tried to measure that. My electric bill has been pretty high. It's been like 150 about. Well, that all just the one cooler is running, 150 a month. Um, so I don't know how that compares to what other people get. But that that is my cooler system, and I'm happy with it. And yeah, I think Coolbots are really great and they have good customer service like you can get good information from the Coolbot people.